everyone, my name is Bettina, and guess what came in the mail for me today? That's right, it's a Frisk sweater! It's so cute. It looks like Christmas came for me early this year. I mean, Hanukkah, because I'm Jewish, and, well, this year it's the same day as Christmas, but you know what I mean. Well, actually, by the time I upload this video, I don't know if it'll still be before Christmas or after or Hanukkah. Well, whatever. I bought this shirt from the actual Undertale website straight from the merch store, so this is a genuine Frisk shirt. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to try it on. In fact, I think I'll try it out right now. <laughs> oh my god, it fits really well. I'm so surprised. I'm uh, like an extra small woman size sweater and it fits absolutely perfectly. It's not too big, not too small, fits me perfectly. I may live in Florida and it's not that cold right now. I'm sorry, I'm so spoiled. But I still know how to appreciate a good sweater. It feels really nice. And yeah, it looks exactly like Frisk. And it looks like I got my hair like almost messy like Frisk if they were a girl. And I've got my little a trademark little bow. It's like a flower headband. And this necklace is a little something that I wore a couple of videos ago and someone pointed out that this looked like a Karen necklace and like a gold heart-shaped locket. And I'm like, oh yeah, I totally didn't realize that when I first put it on. So I thought this would complete the look. It also came with a little paper mercy button, which is really cute. It's great for cosplaying if I ever go to any conventions in the future. It would have been cool if they came with a fight button too, so you have that choice to be pacifist frisk or genocidal frisk, but maybe it comes with a Kara uh, outfit, but it's okay with me. I'm a pacifist. I don't need the fight button anyway. So besides showing off this awesome shirt, I wanted to do this vlog to make a few quick announcements for you guys. First off, thank you all so much for helping me reach over 23,000 subscribers. I can't believe I got so far in just one year of making Undertale content. And it's all because of you guys commenting and liking and sharing and subscribing. So thank you all for your wonderful support and for giving me so much determination every day. Next, I want to publicly thank all of the people who have helped supply voices for my comics. For a long time, I thought I could get away with just doing all the voices voices by myself, that I didn't need any help from anyone, but honestly, it's a lot more fun to do it when you involve other people in a project, so I feel like I've made a lot of good friends in the process this way, so from the bottom of my heart, or my soul because it's Undertale, thank you to Matt Joe, Katie Lou, Comic Box, Jazzy Pow, Eleanor, and Elliot for helping me and lending me your talents and voices. And if there's any way I can repay you or return the favor, please don't hesitate to let me know. Also thanks to my awesome twin sister and my younger brother Adam for pitching in once in a while as well. They're both awesome and I love you guys. And if anyone else feels like they want to join in the fun and try their hand at voice acting, please don't be shy. Record yourself imitating your favorite Undertale character or characters, then send me an email at bettinaklevy at gmail.com I won't promise that you'll get a role, but if you're serious and genuine and determined about helping me out, then I'll see what I can do. Last but not at all least, I have a really big announcement. You see, not only did I buy this official Frisk shirt on the Undertale website, I also bought and downloaded the actual Undertale game. Yee! Look at it! It's there! It's real! And yeah, this is my desktop. Cool, right? I know it's probably really surprising that someone who loves Undertale as much as me, who bases their entire channel around Undertale, has actually never played the game before. I'm kind of embarrassed about it by how much I love it and talk about it all the time, but in the coming weeks I hope to seriously correct that because I am planning on making my very own gameplay series for Undertale. I know there's probably already hundreds of people who have filmed themselves playing Undertale, but I'm going to try and do something different. I am going to try and tell the story as well as I possibly can, do all the voices for the characters, learn as many secrets as I can, and have a lot of fun while playing it for the first time for myself. And then later, I'll be able to use that game footage to help make future videos, which would be really great because all this time I've been borrowing from other gameplay videos. So I'm really excited about using that. To wrap up, I know that 2016 has been a really frustrating, strange, sucky year for a lot of us for many different reasons, but 
Personally, however, I can't think of the year as entirely bad. Thanks to my discovering Undertale and creating all these videos to pay tribute to this wonderful universe, this game, this world. It's helped me stay creative and has taught me the power of determination, truly. And it's given me so many other good things, like all of you guys, you friends, and it gives me so much joy and gives me a reason to wake up every day. So here's to an even better year in 2017, and I hope you guys will all keep following me and join me and stay determined. Until next time, Bettina out! Yeah, that's my new outro. Deal with it.